hello everyone now we are going to see a wheel balance experiment the aim of this experiment is to balance a wheel using a wheel balancing machine the tools used for this experiment are wheel balancing machine and its accessories along with the screwdriver and spanners the tire balance or sometimes it may be also called as the imbalance or unbalance is caused due to the distribution of mass with an automobile tire to which it is attached when the wheel rotates mass may cause it to wobble which can cause ride disturbances usually the vertical and lateral vibrations it can also result in wobbling of the steering wheel or of the entire vehicle the ride disturbance due to unbalance usually increases with speed for this reason we are going to conduct the wheel balance experiment tires are balanced and repair shafts by two methods one is static balance and dynamic balance there are two types of balances now we are going to see the dynamic balancing what we are going to conduct uh, now in the lab so dynamic balancing describes the forces generated by mass distribution when the tire is rotated so when the tire is in motion or when the tire is rotated that is what in dynamic position this balance can be done the procedure followed here are fix all the wheels to balancing machine lock the wheel using locking nut mark the various parts of the wheel by rotating it check the wheel for static balancing now rotate the machine the weight should be added in back side of the wheel that is where the arrow marker needle shows zero in all parts of the wheel and add necessary weights wherever it is required inspect tire grip if worn out and check the damages in the disc hello everyone so we are uh, going to conduct the wheel balancing experiment so the wheel balancing experiment it is also known as the tire balancing so it is the process of equalizing the weight of the combined tire and wheel assembly so that it spins smoothly at high speed balancing involves uh, putting the wheel or tire assembly on a balancer which centers the wheel and spins it to determine where the weights should go okay now we can see the uh, tools of the instruments or equipment is what we are going to use now for this experiment so this is the pliers to add the weights so these are the weights should be added you can see that uh, n number of weights are available here from small grams to higher grams okay you can see that's mentioned as 100 and some of the two other grams you can see like 40 like so no from from small to bigger number of weights are available here okay so this is very small one okay so this is the screen where you can note down the balanced weights or unbalanced weights how much weights to be added if the wheel is unbalanced by controlling various options here so these color codes are given for different operations to perform the experiment 
So once we start the experiment, uh, you can notice what are the operations are performed by these buttons. So this is the wheel. This should be fixed to the shaft and should be locked by using the lock nut. To be held uh, tightly, we are using different cones. You can see here, this is called as cones, which is connected between the shaft and the rim part. And also you can see the different types of cones available, depending upon which dimension of rims you are going to use. Now we are fixing the wheel properly so that there should not be any disturbance by using the lock net, clamp it tightly. Now we are uh, using the measuring gauge to measure the rim width and the inner diameter. So you can record it here. So this is the scale which measures the width of the diameter. Now we are measuring the inner diameter. So it is indicating here you can say somewhat near to 13. Okay, now you need to see what is the distance between the equipment and the rim, the distance. So these are the observations to be given as input to the equipment, to the machine. So once every observation has taken care, we need to set the initial readings by using these buttons. So the, di uh, the diameter, sorry, the width is going to be the 4 inch that we have fixed and uh, the inner diameter of the rim is going to be the 13 inch and the distance from here, from here to the machine to the center of the wheel, the distance is going to be 100 mm. Now everything is setted. Now we are going to check it properly. Then everything is okay. Then you can proceed further. So the equipment will give the instructions for us to proceed. So once work is there, then we are going to press the green button when you can go for the experiment. So once the green button is pressed, you can see, see this, the wheel starts to spin. The wheel started to spin and it's also stopped. Now, where it is going to stop? Once it is going to stop, you can see that reading left side it is showing 55 and the right side it is going to show 35. Means from it is going to give the data for us that there is an unbalanced weight with respect to the wheel. So we know we need to have the balancing of weights by adding this, the, equi uh, the weights to the rim. Now left side or right side we are going to add it. Now we are adding the weights. So this is 25 and this is 10. So this as per the data, we need to have 35 to the right hand side and 55 to the left hand side. So now we will be using the combination of 25 and 10. So make it 35 to the right hand side. We are going to add it by using the hammer. So that is 25 plus 10, two weights we added, so total it is 35. Okay, so 
now we will go for the left side so left side it is 55 so this is going to be 50 and this is going to be 5 ok so 55 will be added to the left side you can see now it is showing the indication where exactly you need to hammer the weights now after adding the weights we will be checking once again by using the green button and again the wheel has spin started to spin ok now again it is showing uh, 15 towards left and 5 towards to be added to the right side so you should be adding the weights until it should nullify and it should show 0 Now we are adding the, the weights to the left side. Now finally again pressing the green button. Again we will see what happens to the weight. So now it is 0. So the conclusion is now, so once the unbalanced weight it is shown in the screen, so you can see uh, the 45 grams or 50 grams which was shown earlier. So that weights have been added and it has come back to uh, the neutralized 0 part. So now it is the wheel balancing is done.